the uh, in, in Q, I'm just thinking we might get range ID. And then the bus that will come later if they're going to do it. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I'm just feeling, you know, because NQ is not powering ahead but pulling back a bit, um, got to be a bit conservative here. But obviously, if, if you're playing to the long side and you, and you get into the high zone, you've got to, you know, cover into it. Well, you don't have to, but you should protect some profits, especially during IB. And I was just thinking the NQ is is not shown the kind of strength it has, so it doesn't mean that this, you know that we're weak here, but it may just take some time to consolidate first. So that's why I suggest you know be be somewhat conservative in your thinking, so simply because the NQ has been the leader. And still thinking that 1975, that 1875-19 is a key support. So I would not overtrade it, but my expectation is that as long as that can be defended, this this 19, that that support to try to drive higher and test the high 20s. And right now, some traders probably not recognizing that weakness in uh, NQ, but I, I think that's a player right now. And I'm not advising you to go crazy and try to short the daylights out of this. Uh, I think the game is probably try to trap a few traders. And I'm still thinking fairly neutral. This is a two minute chart. If you're looking at your five, <clears throat> that's your five. We're trying to get up above the blue line. We said keep an eye on your 10 minute chart. So it's a little bit slower pace, but that seems to be the right chart. And so far, you know, the middle has been defended. 60% pullback is right here, right? The 20 and a half. That so, so this needs to hold, in my opinion, to to make it easier for for the longs to squeeze higher, and the fifty obviously right back here. So I I think the bots are buying there for now. And we still have shorts on the hook from yesterday. Had a chance to get rescued overnight. And anyone that didn't that thought that they were going to get the plunge, they're still on the hook. Mark is very smart, <clears throat> making traders who just want the breakout. Give it to me now. Just, just very, very smart. And I said I thought we could probably range trade this first hour. A reminder, I wasn't thinking plunge. Just thinking choppy kind of behavior. And see how this was choppy yesterday up here. You know, this, this is just rotating in time. So this 10 minute chart is certainly in play and part of it. 
And if you can grab a couple points out of this mess, do it. And if you don't like today's range and the way it's trading right now, don't trade. But I was thinking that as long as we hold this, that you know the the next target's up, and then try to get to that 29 to 31. And as you know, the gold line's always the hardest. So <clears throat> key support back here. If you're playing backwards right now, make sure you just take your stop out. You know, don't let it squeeze you and say, uh, they're going to just come right back. Because you can see how they played yesterday. I just thought today, this morning, they, they wanted to absorb it. It is morning after trend day, so, you know, there, there is a bias to the upside, obviously. So that bias says take out the high. Well, that's not true. The bias says buy the pullback. Doesn't say you have to make a new high. Which is basically why we had suggested, you know, last night. And most most traders here, I'm sure, were sleeping. But if you if you weren't. You know, that was a perfect buy zone that we had talked about. So we're trying to absorb this big push from yesterday right now. And you can see how it was defended by the 60-minute chart. So in my opinion, this is our key support today. Right back here. And sometimes the big problem is that you know you're sleeping when when you know the best trades go off. We talked about that this morning. How you know you have to take the risk because you don't get a good clean shot at what you want. You got to take a few points of risk, which was the 21.75, 20 and a half area. Still got to take some risk because obviously from there to back here you got five points of risk to the overnight low. And so they really have made us be, become more aggressive as, as traders, taking trades that, you know, you, you may not feel comfortable about, but still, you, you can still use a two-point stop. You don't have to just say, okay, I'm going to let it get all the way back there. And so part of today is absorbing some of yesterday's push. Um, but it's also MATD. If you keep an eye on this chart, it's your 30, I believe. You can play for now. And you can see it's it's a fairly tight wedge right now that's being built. Range type trading through a, a lot of this move. This, this was uh, the overnight move. In the middle of it, it's holding. So this support right in here, this is we're looking at this as the key support right there. You can see it right here. Trying to drive this way. And we said the target boys would like to get to is to run at least a couple of points and get into that 29 and a quarter target, the 31 and a quarter. <clears throat> you know, trying to bust the stops is what we're trying to do. And that goal line is the hardest. There, there it comes. There it is. And we said 29 and a quarter. 
to 31 and a quarter. Okay, right there, you want to make sure you get paid right there. Right? Twenty nine and a quarter, I said to thirty one and a quarter. 